So, we are back with some more of the Outer World. I believe this is part 5? No, part 4 I think it is. Yeah, part 4. Is it part 4? Part 4 or 5. It's one of the two. Very long. And I don't know if this part we are going to go see Gladys. So we need to go... Groundbreaker? Independent orbital station in the Halcyon's first colony ship. Captained by Jun Lee Tennyson and run by a small crew. Okay, so looking from the marker, it's telling us we have to do that. So, Destiny. over we go. It's quite cool. Mission reached the groundbreaker. Whoa. Whoa. That is one big. Mother Can we talk? Trucking ship. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real you good engineer. Go. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to sure. make it worth your time. The now. Did you want to talk about something else? I think it's time you move along, Pavati. Wait. Break down there, but... You coming then? Sometimes I can hear Vickers saying prayers to himself. Sometimes I hear him cussing about toss ball scores. Okay. Onto the ship we go. Bring Pavati and Vicar. Because there are only two. They both could help right now. But I don't know what Vicar's main stuff is. So, what he ups for us. I know Pavati does um, engineering. So that's plus 10 to engineering for attributes there. But I don't know what Vicar does for us. So we need to have a look into that. And at some point we could look into getting better armor as well. Better armor and probably better weapons as well. Because I want to hope there's going to be better weapons than just the basics that they've given us so far. Then we can modify them as well later so maybe there's weapons with different modifications and then we dismantle them to get that modification to be able to put it onto our normal weapons whoa it like grease and unwashed bodies ground just as ground breaker it's massive also Vicar's voice captain I don't know if it if is. I could trouble you for a moment of your time while we're on the groundbreaker I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That's a good question. The sun's Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Okay. I'll comb the last six Does months of departure manifest to, to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Thank you, Captain. Sounds good, let's go. So I wanna quickly look at our character skills. So Pavati's giving us plus ten in in that. Hack 
Vicar gives us eight. So yeah, Vicar's hacking. Which That's is not the point. good that we brought that him. Creed. Wait a second. That's quite the impressive list of infractions. So he's, he's... Wow, he's a fugitive. We were that free by fugitive and now we're doing his work. Great. Customs and inspection, right this way. Identification, please. Present Hawthorne's ID. Here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. What? But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Any idea why? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Okay, I'll go talk to now. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. A shipment? Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? There okay, we've you got a lot you. to do this part. So, Udon Bedford, we'll go there first. Quest. Uh, UN requires you to enter into a restricted area. If caught aside, you will be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. This is it. Security. Okay. So where's that? Uh, General mag picks. No, that's weapon parts and that sort of stuff. How are we meant to use the... How do we use it? This device projects a holographic image over the user and makes for an effective disguise in the right hands. How do we use it? Yeah, that is a good question. How do we use it? I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chick I mean the scholar shipped in and out with. Here we go again. Nope. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the ads. Lots of unsavory types about. Put a weapon away. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastards. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Um. Alex is dead. Forget Alex. You've impounded my ship. I'm going to wring your scrotal neck, that's not far enough. Alex isn't important. I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells. Whoa. It's 
So do we either say Alex is dead? Or Alex isn't important, I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells. This is a hard decision. If we turn in Phineas Wells, we can get loads of money probably for it. But then if we say Alex is dead... Wait. Uh, oh, I, I see. Alright, another time then. Wait for him to end the conversation. We're going to save here. So we're going to save. So we have a save to jump back to if something goes wrong. Last we spoke, I'd asked after my dear friend Alex Hawthorne. So tell me, has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? What happens if we turn in... Phineas Wells. What? I saw a Wells wanted poster, and I want to claim the bounty. Before we get down to business, I need to know if sure I can trust you. Wells, I meant smells. It really smells in here. Maybe you should open a door. So we're going to go for that one. Amazing! I didn't think those things worked. Mostly people draw funny faces on them. Oh, and there we are. I've removed the lock on your ship in a show of my gratitude. An apprehension of this cow will be tremendous for my... I'll send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, only... Oh, la. Oh, no. Let me guess. There's a catch. Just a teensy one. The teensiest. Nothing to, uh, lie awake worrying about for nights on end or anything. <laughs> the thing is, I needed money. A lot of money. Quickly. For reasons. So far, so entirely expected what happened. I might have pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. Stray too much from the uh, straight and narrow, and one may just find himself assigned pastoral duty in a maximum security penitentiary. To give away something so important to you, there must have been some curious reasons. I'll thank you not to question my motives, young miss. It was a mistake, and I'd like to put it behind me. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. You have to be kidding me. How stupid can you be? Get it. I return Phineas in. So, before I can get your board, a favor and turn over Wells. I need you to do a favor. Do. Yeah, I need you to do a favor first. That's the long and short of it, yes. Great. So, that sends us down another route. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm certain Gladys can be made. Well, can probably be made to see reason. <laughs> I'll be waiting eagerly for your return. Now, is there any way in which I might assist you? No. So, I'm gonna put another save in here. We're gonna reload the one from just three minutes ago and see what happens if we tell him that Alex is dead. See which version of um, the truth we get. See which one's better. Because I'd rather have the better version. Because either way, we're going to be going to see Gladys at the moment. So if we tell him Alex is dead, do we get arrested or something? Oh, hello. You're back. Last we spoke, I'd asked after my dear friend Alex Hawthorne. So tell me, has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. 
What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh, yep. He sure did. I really wouldn't know. Uh, I really wouldn't know. It must have been lost with Alex then. One more tragedy to top the pile. Tell me, how did he die? He was eaten alive by feral canids. He died in an escape pod accident. Trust me. I think we have to tell him the truth. Oh, awful business that. But why? How? No, no. Best not to ask after the gory details. Again, I'm very sorry. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Ooh, so it still comes back around to him asking about Wells. Why is the board trust in Wells anyway? Why do you think I'd know about Wells? I know where Wells is. Alex never mentioned Wells. Well, technically saying Alex never mentioned Wells would be the right would be true. It's also true that we know where Wells is. But those two question things. Alex never mentioned it, no. That's uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? What's the spell the board having your head? I know where Phineas says. I want to ask you something. No, let's leave, leave a conversation there. So let's save there as well. So, after both sides of the conversation, I think the better one is to say that Alex died and tell, tell him the truth. But it's also true that we know where Phineas is. But, on the other hand, it's not actually something we need to say. And we've already been told by, I think, Wells last part, not to give in and tell him these things. Or tell the board these things. Because the board are after him and he has a few yes. Can we rent an upstairs room? We need to see that. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me a nav key. Or Stellar Bay to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Whoa! 10,000 bits! Um, so you can get a discount. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. Ooh. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge Damn. you double. Tell me this opportunity then. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little more flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. We need that, key. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. 
She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hmm. Say no more, I'm M. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Abandoned outpost, corporate secrets, got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Thanks for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Okay. Let's look at our journal. So that's the main one. Stress cool. Let's get to the sick bay quickly. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. What I told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. When I says your shipment won't be coming in soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I could try to find him. Um, what do you need mechanicals for? I'll be on my way. We'll come back to that side mission. Cause we're gonna go do the empty man. ID cartridge, terminal. There we go. To use in the holographic shroud. Aha! No. Can we use Okay, so we might teach us in a moment how to to use it. How'd you get in? Is there a door over here? Aha, back door. Let's go up on the roof a minute. Might be a way in up here. I'll be back once I find my way in. So it actually shows there's a door here. Restricted area. Okay. Quiet the child has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see you and interrogate you. Talk your way out of interrogations to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out of things the more you are interrogated. Open the 
this door. So there's a... Nicely done. There it is. Just yet. Yeah. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar before ended up. Give data cartridge to Vicar. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Why are you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding them. Seems awfully convenient. It was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of Sounds the universe's good. secrets, you no. sometimes get a sense for these things. Let's go to that one. And hopefully this bit will be quick, because I don't want this part to be too long. I just want this part to be this on here. In the uh, ground breaker thing that they called the ship. Engineering. Have you seen this man? For more offers for information needed. Thought there'd be more machinery. June Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Hmm. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Start with that one. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on nope. the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, the their family. Peace, ma'am. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. Now so that what my brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer's just passing through. Uh, yeah, be honest. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate Bavardi, threats. You want to Makes talk it hard to, to trust Johnny. outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. What? Oh, I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, That's fine. Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there, we go. there are other parts of the ship that get my attention. There he is. So let's go to the summit in melee. It's more into ranged. It's more into defense. Dialogue. We always need some more in tech. There we go. Turn the um to the unreliable and ask Pavati about Jun Lee. So 
it will be next part when we had this is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled It will be done next part that we Have go you seen to. This man? Um, Where the glass needs us to get Wait, where's it? She needs us to go. Purchase a nav key. So we need to do the distress signal mission. Which will be taking us to back to Ada. So we'll finish up on the sh our ship. And then we'll be ready for the next part. But don't I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, uh, there we go. Right. You so had a question. getting along, that's good. Never mind. Which that I'm, about it. We suppose they weren't getting along. And also, I was going to point out earlier before talking to Vicar. Vicar's voice. Vicar's voice. The voice actor. I want to put it down. The same guy who voiced hey, you your second? father in Fallout 3. Which I will, between this part and the next part, have a look at that. Because they actually do sound quite the same. So either before or next part, I will probably have a look at it. But then I will be filming the next part straight after this. So. Someone will have to let me know down in the comments at some point what, or if they are the same voice actor. Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by. Just uh, to take a closer you seem look. Pretty eager. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's you a fun looking knows. ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Okay. Just give me a shot. That's interview. all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Sure. Science. An interview. What's your that sounds fair. Pie. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Uh, it's so he's not delicious. <coughs> Mock apple pie and a trip <coughs> crust. Maybe so with a little cream like on top. Science. Classic. Are you any good in a flight? A fight, I mean. Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's okay, head so clean off its servos with one swing of a toss ball to stick. She could be good to have you a can count on me in a scrap What's boss. Your biggest flaw? That's a promise. The foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. Of idiots. You want to so tell yeah, me I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Of work? Hope that's not a deal breaker. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman like adult, comes right? swaggering up with his head full of boasting. That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman and I'm just a back bay's oh, dock you're worker. Hired. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Wow. <laughs> you don't you know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. I'll just gather my personals welcome, and meet you on board. Him, this is going to be welcoming great. Welcoming him into the you family. You got a crew now, Felix. Back on the ship we go. 
So, what's that? Like, three parts in a row we've got someone new join the crew. First it was Vicar, then Pavati, and now Felix. Hello, we've got a very PewDiePie. What could be better? So hopefully, the next part we can head to the distress call, do that mission for Gladys. Ada, how, how have you, you managed that? To have a long conversation with someone. There's no one here. Every time the captain leaves the ship. What's in here? Ooh, light assault rifle. Adreno. And that one's gone to think in, obviously. But, we're going to leave this part with a nice view of the groundbreaker. So, if you have enjoyed, you can drop the like, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next part where we're going to be going to the, the stress call. So, if you have enjoyed this video, and you want to see more videos like this, there should be two videos just over here, one being the most recent upload, the other being um, one that YouTube think is something you guys will enjoy. You can also click the little icon of my logo down right below me to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.